What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video and we're just going to have a quick chat about v2.4.0 and we have a date for it so obviously I did a weekly roundup but that was more kind of content if you haven't checked out that video or if I haven't uploaded it yet um, you can check that out when I do or if I have you can check it out as well but that's just the content the weekly content that we are going to be seeing every week and it's a lot of rinse and repeat right but there is a lot in my opinion there is a lot of pressure on v2.4 I think we're at a point in the game at the moment where and I will get into this in a second with a bit of gameplay in the background, but we're at a point where newcomers are having a lot to do and they've got a lot of content, but kind of long-term players that have invested a lot of time into their squads, we're kind of just, you know, left with nothing really to play for or to do. Like eFootball divisions and all that is fine, but there needs to be more kind of content there that kind of has a social hook that brings you in, whether that's co-op, whether that's edit mode, whether there's something there that isn't just about being, you know, the very best player in the game, because only a selection of people can be the best top, you know, 100 players in the game. So um, there needs to be something to play for, whether it's a social thing or whether it's a bit of crack uh, going forward. So Konami have officially tweeted out, uh, on their Japanese Twitter account, did they say that the update of V2.4 would be delivered on February 16th, planning various updates such as campaigns, events, and additional specifications to enjoy Season 3 back to clubs even more, right? But it's down here where they talk about... Um, actual gameplay stuff right so they talk about we are also updating the gameplay based on the feedback we receive from our customers on a daily basis right details will be announced at the day of the event so please wait for a while right so we're just going to get a bit of gameplay on in the background here and then we're going to have a quick chat about gameplay and about feedback and about surveys and about a little bit more of what i touched on here uh, a little bit in a second where about like kind of the the, the player retention and what we need to be actually having at this stage of the game's life cycle all right let's so we just have a bit of gameplay on in the background uh while we discuss this and yeah look i think at the moment right where i'm at with the game and i've tried to kind of convey this in a couple of videos but just to have a chat about it i think at the moment we're in a very kind of weird spot with the game and i want you to let me know um what your thoughts are and your opinions are and you know what is working for you in the game what's not working for you content wise you know player retention wise are you finding yourself logging in every day playing one or two matches and then dipping or are you playing a lot of matches are you still enjoying it as best as you you know were before when the game came out for me personally right i am enjoying the gameplay where it's at at the moment in terms of um you know i feel like the gameplay is kind of steadied from the last maybe two or three weeks i still think that there's a lot of gameplay changes that need to happen um but in terms of like the content gameplay split at the moment like in fairness it is all about um the same kind of rinse and repeat stuff coming every week right it's the same events it's the same you know e-football uh points for awards in the divisions and coins for the coin event and you know the same formations you're coming up against the same players everyone has pretty much got a fairly beastly squad i think where we're at with a lot of it is newcomers to the game and i've mentioned this before right newcomers to the game and I've talked to a lot of newcomers that, you know, are, are coming onto the channel and that are enjoying the game and learning how to build a squad, learning about team play style, about play, players, um, play styles themselves and team roles and learning a couple of tutorials and tricks and how to defend and how to score and all that. And they really enjoy the game for the first maybe 20 hours because everything is new. You know, you can build your squad with a lot of freedom. You can buy players for very, very cheap and train them up very, very easily. And it's fun, man. It's fun. The training of the players and all that sort of stuff is very, very fun. Uh, building a squad is very fun until you reach the ceiling where you're coming up against, you know, full epic squads and you're coming up against guys that play in one way, play, play to win all the time. And I think at the moment... There is nothing in the game for the casual fan apart from building a squad and opening packs and doing a couple of events. But, you know, very quickly you will find after playing the game for a couple of weeks, if you're a newcomer, you will find that there is a lot of people out there, you know, that want to be esports athletes. Like they play the game in a very aggressive manner to try and win. And that's the same with every sport, every online game. This isn't a football game issue. This isn't, you know, like just relevant for eFootball or for Pez. This is every online game. It's like Call of Duty, man. You know, Call of Duty, I played a lot of it with Warzone 1. I played it, it got me through COVID, but I haven't played Warzone 2 
like I'd say I've played about 10 hours of it because it's just, you know, it's just not for me. There's no real casual aspect of it with the Rebirth. Obviously, Rebirth is coming back if, if guys play Warzone. But I just think with eFootball at the moment, there's a lot of stuff that is not fully thought out. And I think that for the player that has been playing the game for a long time, such as myself, there is a kind of a, a kind of a fatigue setting in of where the game needs to be and where the game actually is. And I think that that's probably the biggest issue at the moment with it. Um, a lot of these issues can be put down to the content, but a lot of the issues can be also put down to the gameplay, right? So you're seeing these clips on, on the screen here, and you'll see kind of like the pattern of the play, and you'll see that there's pretty much every second or third ball is going to be an interception. And I think this is the biggest issue with the game at the moment, is that the defensive AI and the actual AI for blocking balls and getting interceptions and rebounds and bobbles and foot, you know, foot blocks and passing lanes being blocked. I think that the problem is at the moment is that there's just one very, very, very uh, dominant way of playing the game, which is central. You'll see a lot of chances here where literally you're making a break with the ball and there'll be an interception or there'll be a bobble or there'll be a player that is going to be defended. You'll see there right there with Trippier. I mean, that's AI. He's calling the AI to defend for him, and it works, and it stops the flow of the game. You'll see there Bruno gets across. You'll see me get across here with Pedri. The ball is played wide, and in this position, it's going to be a case of just sitting back and letting me get back with the AI, and there you go with Pedri, who's been back from the AI all along. So I feel like at the moment that there's a very um, kind of assisted layout to and control screen, control scheme to the defensive side of the game. You'll see even when you beat a player and you absolutely rinse him, that you nearly need to beat the player two, three times, which is kind of a little bit different than what the game was when it first launched. I thought that there was a nice kind of attack defense balance to the game when it launched. So I think with V2.4, if we are to look at that, and we look at the fact that they are, you know, taking feedback. I have given feedback. That's why I always ask you guys for feedback, right? I can only do what I can only do. I mean, I can only send on what I'm asked. If I'm asked something and I'm asked to get a consensus of people that are actively playing the game, such as you guys listening or watching this video, I can only send it on. And I think that's my biggest gripe at the moment is that the defending is way too easy. Um, I don't want to concede six goals a game if I come up against a beast. Obviously, that's not fun for anybody. It's not fun for him. It's not fun for me. But at the same time, if I'm outmatched, the only way I'm going to get better at the game is by learning to be better at, than the game. It's not, it shouldn't be about, you know, buying, um, you know, uh, like Beckenbauer at the back or Vieira midfield and having the game kind of assist me in a way that because they're defensive AI or because their stats or because the way um, they perform on the pitch is going to be, you know, completely dominant. And it's the same way that if I have Demichelis at the back, who's a very slow center back, I should be able to exploit that with Mbappe. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have to uh, limit um, my play style of out wide. If I if I perform well out wide, if I'm able to beat a player with a dribble, you know, I should be able to beat a slower base player and him not to kind of catch up to me and recover. So I think that there is a lot of potential with this game. And I still, you know, find that like when we are when we complain about the game and it comes from a, a passion passionate side of us where i'm still logging in i'm still doing content i'm still enjoying content i'm still enjoying playing the game when it flows it is the best football game that i have played in a long long time when it flows right and the connection is fine there is you know a, a sense of it being one of the best football games that you can play even though it has a lot of issues i mean people seem to forget that pez 18 had issues pez 20 had issues pez 21 had issues um, where there was a lot of stuff that was, you know, very, very, very overpowered as well. But I think at its core, it does have the potential to be an excellent game and one of the best football games ever, if it just tones down on a couple of things and improves on another couple of things. So let me know, right? Let me know what you guys think. Um, am I talking sense or am I talking nonsense? Let me know what you think. As I said, I still keep going back to the game, you know, and I see a lot of people that are like, you know, gave up on the game three months ago that are still opening packs. They still come back and they actually engage with the game. Um, and I think that that's what it is, man. It has that hook of when it plays well, you're always chasing that game where it plays well and everything flows and you score a banger. And that can keep you interested for another month because it's like, oh, I remember that game I had where I scored this goal, whatever. So let me know what you guys think. It's just a bit of a catch up on V2.4 and we will talk to you in a bit. I will talk to you later, lads. Good luck.